Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. Trust you're having a good morning so far. It's 8.32, two minutes after the PPI announcement. Just watching things here on the Three Sisters. And uh, you'll notice that it looks like TradingView is having an issue here with the contract rollover on the continuous contract for the Dow. Um, not showing a whole lot of uh, volume in there. So some kind of a glitch, I would think. But I'm sure they'll sort it out. But yeah, general direction is being shown. I actually rarely trade before the market open their regular trading hours Again, it's 8 33 i normally don't start trading until 9 30. um but sometimes there's a setup that i just can't ignore and uh, i may i may take that but uh, doesn't look like there's anything happening here another new all-time high here guys on the nasdaq as i was uh, saying to one of my members i'm a little skeptical about this rally um, but believing what the market's saying the internals the market breadth is a little weak in here this is really being driven by uh, by a few big names. Obviously, there are some other participants as well. Broadcom earnings last night, big gap move here. On the daily, you can see it. And it's really a gap in the bodies, not not in the uh, not from wick to wick. I'm gonna drop down to the thirty second chart here. Watch the uh, more micro movements i do like how we have broken above this zone from earlier in the uk session and of course all-time highs difficult for me to buy into these all-time highs as i was explaining to uh, to one of my members who asked some great questions and uh, i actually shorted the nasdaq in the uk session this morning had a nice win on that uh, after this gap, it went a nice pullback here earlier and I uh, was able to take one R out of that. And a different model. It's not the Razor's Edge model, but very similar price action concepts. Now, if I do take a trade here on the uh, in the pre-market, I will almost always need alignment and synchronicity amongst the three sisters, not just you know, lack of divergence, but full alignment. And uh, you'll see that consistently in my my news trades when I take them. And again, those are few and far between. And now faltering. Now, when you've seen me take the occasional trade in the pre-market on 8.30 news, you will almost always uh, hear me refer to the pullback of the impulse wave. That was the reaction wave. You can see that here. We've pulled back into the 50 and slightly beyond the 50. Um, fib now I don't use the fib tool but I'm doing this for you to show you what I'm seeing um, just based on uh, based on experience this is the kind of the optimal trade window the bigger one it's from 50 to the 786 and then there's a smaller and uh, more ideal uh, more aggressive I should say um, window right there but I won't be taking a long on this because of the range that we've pulled back into here uh, that was very lackluster in the UK session. You can see how small this range is uh, in comparison to everything's relative in price action, right? So you can see this big, big flagpole, if you will, leg and then the sideways self-contained. So with the push above, now if this 50% pullback, for instance, was above this uh, resistance area, that would be a different ball game. I might be looking for a break and a retest here to go higher, right? But we're not retesting. We are legitimately back into that trading range there and sure enough we're continuing to weaken here a little bit so here's an example of a setup that might be tempting for some to enter say on this pullback and then this little bit of a you know resurgence here although there was nothing compelling here in these little tiny wicks or bodies saying that i'm ready to reverse higher but uh, factoring in uh, the fact that we are we had a big cap move last night we've had this impulse move uh, that we've pulled back into the fib which is constructive for a long but back into this mediocre lackluster trading range right is uh, is for me um, nothing to jump all over now when the actual market opens regular trading hours at 9 30 it's open season right anything can happen when those millions of participants and some very powerful players join the show many of those participants are not in the show yet during this a, a 30 news um, I mean, there will be a lot of uh, smaller retail um, traders who will be losing money trying to trade this stuff 
and uh, it really does make sense to take the entire picture into consideration. I'll also show you the three sisters. As I mentioned, I would demand a concerted effort here amongst the three, and you'll see weakness, weakness, and of course, weakness here on this weird looking uh, Dow chart. Right back to VWAP. Now things might get a little bit interesting here for a long, but I won't be touching it. The uh, dust is settling here from the um, from the news. There's that that window. It's just not a high percentage uh, play for me, and so there's no reason for me to uh, entertain this. If you remember, I'm looking for optimal setups only. So now there's a reasonable chance here, guys, that this will continue to rally and come back up. And there's a trade there for some people, but there isn't for me, given that we are back in this range. In fact, back into the span of travel of the prior 30 minute candle a moment ago, we just were there. See that there? And that to me is not exactly a, a rousing endorsement for an optimal long setup. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, what I'll do is actually I'll put you on pause and I'll bring you back and show you what happened from here. All right, guys, we're back. And as you can see, we are in fact weakening here, right? So that, that uh, long trade idea that I said was underwhelming at best, sure enough, does not uh, is not working out given what we saw over here and the fact that we had this massive gap overnight and all of the above, right? And so I'm gonna leave it here, guys. I'm gonna post this video on uh, YouTube just to illustrate how one might think about these news events and reactions and entry points and potential setups and good ones versus bad ones or optimal versus suboptimal and so on and so forth. So hopefully there's a little bit of value there for you. Have an amazing day. Good luck today. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.